MX Fluxbox is a relatively new entry to the MX des desktop environment after their XFCE and KDE. Although Antix covers the Fluxbox window manager in their distribution, MX Linux went a step further and made a fantastic unrecognizable polish to Fluxbox to be a distro which can work on old computers and new ones with its updated kernel. I provided the download link for Fluxbox and we will start installation in a virtual machine. Okay, so we start put new. Let me put it down. We'll call it MX Flux. The type is Linux. The version is Debian 64. Next. We, have, we put 1.5, 1.6. Okay, next, next, we add a little bit or 8 gigabyte is fine and let us start. Okay, you can download it in the link that I provided in the description and we start. Enter. So we are now in the graphical interface, the welcome screen, let us close it and we will install MX Linux. Okay next, here it is the combined root and home, so it is 7.5, the same partition for root and home, put yes, we need to partition, I will put also next. The computer name or the host name, we leave it MX. For the configuration, you configure it wherever you are. For the user account, MX Flux, I'll put a very simple password because it's in a virtual machine. And we will have to wait till it finish. So I'll, I'll speed it up and we'll continue after it finishes. And it finishes, press finish, we'll restart and we'll come back. And we're back. So to start first, MX Linux, the flux box, they changed the default panel. They are using Tint 2. So this is Tint 2 they are using. Another thing here is they are using the XFCE application finder which gives all the applications and sorted out instead of using the right click because Fluxbox uses the right click to have the same arrangement here to have it as a right click so they change the right click into a more mi minimalistic thing on the right side and if you want you directly get access to everything in the menu We'll talk about the menu later, but let us continue. They have here the settings menu. So we have uh, system keyboard, the setting for the monitor, Bluetooth, Tint 2, if you want to change, to put any programs inside here, inside the Tint 2 panel, you can do it. And the iDesk tool is uh, the desktop that is available by MX Linux because Fluxbox does not include a desktop so they used a uh, program it was called iDesk but they changed it to MX iDesk tool they did another fork of iDesk and they are using it with a lot of GUI so that you can customize it and customize the icons on the desktop the cleanup MX cleanup is good if you use the bleach pit, I believe cleanup is, is better for for this system. So they are using MX cleanup for removing trash and cache and all of the stuff that will bog the system. As for the tools here, these are the MX 
tools which are the the flagship for MX Linux and give the, them an edge in in their distribution. The best one that is available is the snapshot, which we talked about in before in an antics video where you can install a system, install everything on the system, make your own configuration, and then later on make an ISO directly. Like in five minutes, you can make an ISO directly. You put it on a USB and you can distribute it or you can install it on another system. The other things that are important are anything concerning USBs. So if you want, uh, you can put uh, a boot repair, boot options, if you have a problem with a Windows installation, you can use MX Linux, you put it on a USB, you load into a Windows installation to get your files or in order also to fix and maybe also to repair the booting. They have uh, a bash config. You see uh, these things are available in the terminal, but they get, make them easy to have as a GUI. So we see a lot of GUIs uh, in, in these. Conky, we have a very nice Conky uh, with a Lua script to make it uh, look uh, really nice. They have a, a repo manager which you can get the fastest uh, server in order to install your files, which is also a good plus. So that's basically the settings with the MX tools. Let us go with the Tunar. If you notice, Tunar is a minimal. If I want, if you know about uh, Fluxbox, you know that this uh, fl dot Fluxbox is the configuration for everything for Fluxbox. If you look at the keys, I'll click on it. Here you can, you can change and make shortcuts and look at all the shortcuts that are available in MX Linux. So let's say Super L, which we talked about, which is the uh, Meta key or the Windows key, it will execute Rofi dash show dran, which is this one here, which is which give you a search search button. And the same thing goes, so you can also change it from here. But they gave you all the all the tools and everything. They gave them directly in front of you, so that you don't have to mess with with these configurations. Looking now at the Firefox browser. Okay, it loaded fast. Okay. So here the same thing, it's an it's a relatively so they have ninety three and they have the MX Linux repository. They are the same if you update the system you'll get the latest Firefox. So most uh, distributions nowadays they they have the latest uh, Firefox if you want to, uh, to download them. Except I think some Debian uh, distributions. Let us look at the terminal. Let us see how much we are using uh, RAM. So we are using around 400, which is uh, very well. Let us see uh, the kernel. Because in antics, uh, they use a, an old kernel so that they have compatibility with old hardware. For MX Linux, they are using 5.10, which is the uh, long-term uh, support uh, version. The other thing that we want to check is how much space it is taking, and you can see it it installs for 5.1 gigabyte, which is relatively okay average. Okay, so so here uh, we talked about the old applications you can press it from here or you can press the win key here it's very easy so you can search let's say I want to change the wallpaper I know that they are using nitrogen but if I don't know nitrogen I want to say wallpaper 
So they have it here, wallpaper, so I can press it. We'll change the wallpaper, we'll, we'll pick another one. Let's say, uh, we'll pick a darker one. Okay, so I have this darker paper, wallpaper. So here they have also the browser for the music. If we want to take a screenshot, the help is very important and they, uh, they uh, put an effort to make a lot of documentation so that you can, they can assist you. And if you notice here they have, you can read all about the, the desktop. You have the links that, uh, that are needed if you want to explore more how to improve your customization and configuration. The other thing is setting manager we talked about. They even put the MX tools in the plank here, in the, in, the, in the dock here, so that to give an importance for it. One last thing to talk about is the right click menu, which was, which is in Flexbox, uh, the very important part of navigation. Now they have this very simple one where they have also some shortcuts, especially the browser file manager, the music. The ones that you saw in the tint 2 and the plank uh, dock but also we have uh, here a some some things like if you want to kill a window let's say you press it you press on a window it will kill it directly or if you want to toggle conky now it is on if i want to turn it off i will press toggle conky it will turn it off the same with iDesk let me take it off and you will see that the icons will go so they are, they are gone if you want them back, you toggle iDesk again. And uh, they have the auto hide the dock that you have on the left side, etc. So they are relatively easy and they, they, they already, if you want, if you can use the same one on, on this side. So you press the all apps, it is the same one that you are seeing here. Of course, it is easier with the, with the, with the menu down here because you can search. You can search it, but they put an effort to include everything on on the on the right click mouse and also on the other side. So you have many methods in order to access your applications.